Welcome to the lab. I'm Anthony Thomas, and here's what I've been up to. We've learned how to recover our pure silver and copper from the electrolytic cells. Now let's learn how to remove our hydrochloric acid from the aqua regia solution that contains all the other base metals. And what I found is you literally end up with no waste and you get a large portion of your acid back. I put together this system of refining because I don't believe there is such a thing as waste in chemistry. You truly do get out what you put in. It simply breaks on form. What form we want our metals in this time will be in a chloride form. I'm going to show two experiments that will remove hydrochloric acid from aqua regia. The difference is one is much more controlled and the other is faster. That sounds familiar. Once you run your copper cell slimes through aqua regia and recover all of the silver chloride that settles out, you're left with all of the other base metals in the solution. Filter the solution well, and because this solution has rinse water in it, I'm going to run electrolysis for about an hour or two with a graphite cathode and a platinum anode. The reason I do this is the electrical current heats up the solution and drives off a portion of the water and condenses our solution for the next step. You can also heat it up on a stir plate, but be careful not to boil off any acid. Stay under the boiling point of hydrochloric acid, uh, which is 83 Celsius and 181 Fahrenheit. Once you have evaporated some of the water, pour off your solution into a distillation setup that has a double neck beaker so a cathode and anode can be installed. There's a little residue on the flask from a previous test, but what I have found is that all metals will plate out of solution in order, or at least somewhat. If there's any silver left, it will come out first, then the copper, and so on, based on the series of metals. I am testing to see where those interval points are to retrieve our base metals one at a time, hopefully. Those results will have to wait for another video because here I want to show you how by using electrical current inside the aqua regia in a controlled distillation setup, our hydrochloric acid will distill over and can be reused. Also, with this process, chlorine gas is generated at the anode and hydrogen gas will be generated at the cathode. These gases are run through a flask of water on the receiving end. Since chlorine is semi-soluble in water, it increases the potency of the acid. Hydrogen is barely soluble in water, so it escapes through the discharge end of the setup. It could be captured, but the volume is really quite low. The acid that's generated is hypochlorous acid, similar to bleach, and works great as a disinfectant. But my favorite use, cleaning out that stubborn residue on all the glassware. I start off with max voltage and it can take a while for the solution to heat up. Eventually you'll start to see chlorine production on the discharge end that we're filtering through distilled water, about one bubble at maybe every 10 seconds or so. After things start to heat up a bit, you'll start to see a rapid increase in chlorine production as well as some nitrogen dioxide that will be emitted and hydrogen gas as well.
Now that we have the cell up and running, let's get started on our next experiment. Simple distillation of aqua regia to remove hydrochloric acid. In front, I've set up on a hot plate with a stir bar our aqua regia inside a container. The first attachment to our beaker is a reflux condenser. This will help contamination from spilling over into our pure acid. Once you start to see a crust form on top of your aqua regia, you'll know that it's time to turn off the heat, pour this into another container, and allow it to evaporate naturally. So we finished the distillation and we came up with this compound here. We're also going to take this substance which basically is copper 2 carbonate and we're going to re-wet it with water, possibly add a little bit of hydrochloric acid and then we're going to put in aluminum. The aluminum will displace all of the chlorides, which all of these metals are in there in a chloride form, but it will displace them back into their metal form.